what's up viewers so we're finally 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 at the most iconic and historic places in the city that is sihagarh fort it is one of the only fort that lies under the city boundaries so let's go and check it out perched at the height of 1312 meters this fort has two gates one is called the kalyan darwaza and the other is pune darwaza this fort has a quite long history and is also known as kondana fort so now we are heading to the tof khana it's a place where they all used to store their weapons and cannons used to be stored at the same place how this fort has survived so many battles and still stands so strong Sihagarh Fort is the most commonly visited weekend getaway for a lot of friends and families from Pune. You will often see this place fully crowded on the weekend and there is just one thing that you need to remember there's it's a fair amount of walking and trekking up a little bit like a small hike. So make sure you're wearing comfortable clothes when you come here and the treat is when you go up you get to enjoy some of the best Maharashtrian delicacies like pitla bhakri, bhajia and a lot more which we will find out about when you come up here they serve you fruits and these are not what you will commonly find down very easily like uh, red imli then they also have these wild berries and lots of pineapple kachi curry with masala on it pink peru a lot of things yeah kakadi and all it's nice for hydration i think it's really really good so i am going to try things that i don't get down which is definitely the beer and these uh, red color berries they also have amla with lots of mirchi masala on it and i'm sure it's going to taste really really good bhaiya ye beer dena aur ye berry dena so you can enjoy these khatte meethe chane mane beer and uh, these are your sweet beer so i'm just going to go sit in the corner see the view enjoy these and can you try enjoying all these wild berries bear and all in sihagarh fort on the top feeling all thanda thanda the whole experience is really really different it's actually fun it's enjoyable so you have to take off your shoes before you enter here Five facts you didn't know about Sihagarh Fort. Sihagarh Fort is also known as Kondana Fort. Second, it is the only hilltop fort in the city of Pune. Third, it is built 2000 years ago. Fourth, this fort has actually played a vital role during our freedom struggle where Mahatma Gandhi ji and Bal Gandhar Tilak met at this fort to discuss the few of the freedom issues. Fifth, Although Sihagarh Fort is often only associated with Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj however the fort has actually gone through and witnessed various dynasties right from the Yadavas to Mughals and furthermore also one thing that i missed is the trek up to here is almost 3 kilometers We are now at the samadhi of Tanaji Malusare. Tanaji Malusare was the commander for Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, and he is known as one of those who died in the Battle of Sihagar just to save Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj ji. And ever since then, he won the hearts of many poets and historians, and is often mentioned in the books of Tulsi Das. Tanaji's sacrifice in saving the Maratha Empire can never be forgotten. So here's one tip from my side to you is that you must come here on weekdays because it's so much more pleasant than weekend. You have all your time, there's less crowd and it's so beautiful. But come very early in the morning. Yeah, the gorgeous view. One of the things that you must notice is that from this fort you can actually have a view of uh, Rajgarh Fort and Torna. So one historic place that you can see. the other two so we also found a talao on the top this is uh, the water reservoir that they used during those times hi so we found like a super cool place where you have natural spring water and it's so clean and nice people do use this place as a wishing well and you can see a lot of coins down and it's a good source of drinking water that you can find at the fort 
Now we've done so much exploring. Now I'm really tired, and I'm going to go look for a spot to enjoy a typical Maharashtrian Jaivin that people make out here. Right opposite the mandir, we found like a cute spot with a chatai. I'm going to sit down and enjoy my pitla bhakri ani matki madhe banavleli dahi. One of the main reasons that motivates me to come to Sihagad Fort is really this matki chi dahi. You will never find this taste and consistency of the thickness of the dahi niche kahan par bhi. So when you come up, make sure and do not forget to try the dahi. These are my garam garam bhajiye. The bhajiye here are really crispy and they're very nicely made. And here's the pitla and bhakri served with kande ki achar. I just cannot wait to eat this. Okay, for the ones who don't know, pitla bhakri is a Maharashtrian delicacy and uh, the bhakri is made with jawari ka aata it's very healthy the pitla is made out of besan thode masale thoda uh, lasun adrak ka tadka and hari mirchi it is actually a little bit spicy because of the hari mirch it's hot it's crispy and it's so tasty i think i can taste only besan kanda a little bit of jeera keep eating it's crispy crispy keep chewing it's fun On the top of the hill near the fort we have a temple called Angateshwar Bhairav Mandir which was built in 1763 so let's go inside and check the 17th century temple So we discovered this cool place there are a lot of huts here and each one of them serve you garma garam khana and all of these are maharashtrian food that you can sit down here and enjoy the food So this is the end of exploring the most popular Sihagad fort which is within the city limits and we had an amazing experience the weather the authentic maharashtrian food on the top of the hill was an experience truly amazing to not miss when you are in pune for sure for more such videos like share and subscribe